when I discovered that I was gay. I, you know, there's a story that I think is pretty funny. I was watching A Fish Called Wanda. Kevin Klein was on top of Jamie Lee Curtis. He rips his shirt open and I was like, what is going on? Hi, I'm Mondo Guerra, he, him, slash, fabulous. I was the winner of Project Runway All-Stars season one, runner up of season eight, and also HIV advocate. My coming out story, okay, so you have to realize that this was back in 1996. I was in marching band. My best friend Stephanie wrote me a huge letter talking about how we've had a great friendship and she knew that I was gay and she was telling me that I really need to be honest with myself. And that's all she said, right? And I remember reading the letter in my mom's caravan from our last uh, marching band show for the summer. And I felt inspired to say something to my mom. And I look at her and I said, uh, mom, I'm gay. And there was like no pause. And she said, I'm not telling your father. That was the only thing she said. You know, I'm not telling your father and I'm not telling the family. Being a younger person and being involved with, with expressing yourself creatively, it was difficult because you were also teased a lot because you had different interests than the other kids. But then I found the rave scene. It was like glamorous and it was just like everything that I had been looking for, that community was so um, loving. And that kind of led into the fashion thing. And then I entered this portfolio contest and it was out here in New York City and I, I won the contest, short story. Also, I was like living in New York City in my early 20s and I was feeling very confident, you know, and indestructible. To be honest, and this might sound messy, but to be honest, like I really do not know how or who I contracted HIV from, but I remember the moment when I found out. And for me, oh my gosh, like, there was a complete shutdown. I don't wanna say like looking back, I don't wanna say after I was, after I tested HIV positive that everything started falling apart, but it felt like it did. But th one thing led to another and I ended up moving back to Denver and I was living in my parents' house again after having all this freedom in New York and having this huge dark cloud over my head, which was the secret about being HIV positive. It got so bad that I was not, I didn't seek any medical treatment. I was afraid of the stigma and I was ashamed and I was, man, I was just, I was scared. I was at work for the theater. I was working as a dresser and all of a sudden I like got really out of breath and I had to sit down and I knew something was wrong. And I went straight to the emergency room Turns out that I had PCP pneumonia. Um, I had a T cell count of 14. At 29 years old, I spent Christmas in the hospital. Being in that hospital and being rock bottom and meeting these amazing people that are really on the front lines of that HIV community really pushed me in the right direction. And they gave me some tough love. They said, you know what, like, do you want to die from this? disease because that's what's going to happen if you don't start taking care of yourself you know and I started taking treatment and it really was like a, a 360 for me and a year later I auditioned for this reality television show and I got in I will say that show changed my life fast forward to the day that we were challenged to create this print that was inspired by childhood photos. So I took these pictures inspiration and really used it to tell a story and share my truth. Well, not only being HIV positive for the past 10 years and keep that secret, but like the whole 32 years of my life was shared. I felt so good. My entire life hit a turning point. Then we get back to the designer lounge where we wait for like the results. And the first thing that I thought about was like, oh my gosh, I just confessed something on national TV and my parents are gonna see this. I finally told my parents the Monday night before it aired on Thursday. And it was in the 
my family home that I grew up in at the dinner table, my mom, my dad, my sister, and I just said, I'm HIV positive, I'm healthier, and I'm happier than I've ever been in my life. And she took a moment and she said, I know and I'm proud of you. The night that the episode aired, I had a huge fundraiser for a viewing party in Denver, which raised a lot of money for the health organization out in Denver that uh, I um, first started going to for treatment, which was kind of a full circle moment. And all my family was there, like my aunts, my uncles, my cousins. It was amazing. Like I really did not understand the power of unconditional love until that moment. I think now that there's treatments out there that are available, it adds a new layer of responsibility. Seek treatment and figure out what's gonna work best for you. This is not a death sentence.